Welcome to Raw Online Teaching Program. Today's uh, session is going to be a very short session focusing mainly on the neonatal reflexes. Neonatal reflexes are also called as a primitive reflexes. These primitive reflexes may appear and disappear at various times as a part of the development of the newborn baby. And their presence uh, for a specified period of time or the absence of the neonatal reflexes it indicates the underlying CNS dysfunction when it is uh, persistent beyond the time period or if it is completely absent. So, either of the way it indicates the CNS dysfunction. Although there are many primitive reflexes that has been studied, the most important five reflexes that are taken into consideration we are going to see today. So, in that uh, if you see uh, the Palmer grasp which uh, the onset is at the 28 week of gestation and it gets fully developed by 32 weeks of gestation and usually it is present till 2 to 3 months of postnatal. This grasp, this palmar grasp reflex should uh, disappear by 2 to 3 months of postnatal. Why it is? Because then only the child will able to transfer the object from one hand to the another which occurs ideally at the 4 to 5th month of postnatal period. Okay, 4 to 5 months of postnatal it occurs. Transfer of objects to occur, this palma reflex should, palma grasp reflex should disappear. So, that is why it is clinically important. And uh, next common reflex which we will be seeing is uh, rooting reflex. Uh, it starts from inside 32 week of gestation and it is uh, fully matured at 36 week of gestation. And usually the rooting reflex becomes less prominent because of uh, frequent sensitization after one month postnatal. And next coming to the most important reflex is the morose reflex. Morose reflex actually the onset is at 28 to 32 week of gestation and it becomes fully at uh, matured at the term uh, that is 37 week of gestation and uh, it is present till 5 to 6 months postnatal. And next is the tonic neck reflex which is uh, frequently called as uh, ATNR reflex, uh, the onset is at 35 week gestation, fully developed at 1 month postnatal and it is present till 6 to 7 months postnatal. And next important reflex is the parachute reflex, which the onset is late onset. So, reflex which is uh, starting late is parachute reflex, which is 7 to 8 months postnatal and fully developed by 10 to 11 months postnatal and this is the reflex which remains throughout the life. Okay, The one reflex which remains throughout the life is the parachute reflex. Okay, These five reflexes are taken into consideration. So, moving on to the most important reflex which is the morose reflex. This morose reflex is elicited by sustaining the baby in a supine position and in a semi erect position then suddenly making the baby's head fall backward uh, supported by the examiner's another hand. So, by doing so what happens is actually uh, there will be symmetrical extension of the fingers, abduction of the fingers and, and upper extremities. So, three things that happens. Okay. So, one is there will be a symmetric extension of the arms there will be abduction of the fingers and upper extremities. So, each and individual thing is very important because each and individual uh, reflex will be occurring at particular age of time. Like for example, uh, earlier abduction of the fingers, abduction of the fingers alone will be formed that is by around 28 weeks. So, for example, if you are eliciting a more reflex in the preterm babies, you may be expecting only the abduction of the fingers to be happening. Other two things to occur, uh, the symmetrical extension, uh, the, uh, the age is around 32 weeks and extension of upper extremities is around 32 weeks. So, if you are looking at early preterm eliciting moro, you can see only the abduction of fingers. Only if it is crossed 32 weeks only, complete moro you can see. There will be a symmetrical extension followed by abduction of fingers and the upper extremities. So, three things that happens 
in a while eliciting the morose reflex so based upon the reflex what we saw they can be divided into complete moro incomplete moro absent or exaggerated so if you see incomplete moro complete is when it is present all three actions are uh, done then it is a complete moro so complete thing will a correct term so complete moros reflex you can it is visible at 37 week of gestational age so all the three things you can be able to appreciate followed by a audible cry so in case of incomplete moro there will be any one or two actions will be not elicited so in that case the most common cause is a preterm that is prematurity where you can elicit the incomplete moro 